Okay, let's start with the trivia. Nice. Teleporter activated, and we'll hop on in. Let's transport over to the trivia. Hopefully this is good. Okay, so how is this laid out now? We've got doors, okay. Oh my gosh. Yes? No, I don't get it. Questions? I hate you. Alright, let's push this button here. Welcome to the trivia branch. Each question will be presented from the center button in the room. Walk through the door of the answer you believe is correct. If you're wrong though, there will be consequences. Do you understand? Questions? I hate you. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, sheesh. Back to the hub you, with you then. Okay. Oh, fine then. Alright. <laughs> Alright, looks like we should probably start the trivia branch properly. Alright. Yes then. Fine. Okay. Goody. You understand. Alright. So do we push this button here? Return to hub. What's this do here? Number one. Minecraft is a sandbox game which mainly consists of what? Let's see here. We've got assassinating Templars. Okay. Stealing cars and taking over the city. Mm hmm. Mining and crafting and gliding around Arkham City ninja style. Okay. There are a lot of great options here. Now, which one do you think is right? I'll tr try and do these by yourself first before I try and answer them and fail. Um, so you can kind of see which one's correct. And, you know, you can do this at home if you aren't playing the map for yourself. But I do highly recommend playing it. So, oh, come on, I, I don't totally want to click that. But the questions will get harder. We'll see what the consequences are later. You, I'd be concerned if you didn't know that one. Alright, here we are. What was the first known title for the game we have come to love called Minecraft? Cave Game, Mine-Craft, Survival Test, or Untitled Project? Okay, these questions are going to get harder. I think it's Cave Game. I have a feeling it is, but no, it's definitely not survival test because the first versions of Minecraft, the very early games, weren't survival. Um, there was just goofing around in like a cave. Um, it could be Untitled Project if Notch decided to call it like that, but it's definitely not Minecraft. It didn't come soon. Yes, it was Cave Game. Awesome. In May 2009, Marcus Pearson, aka Notch, posted gameplay footage of Minecraft under the name Gave Cave Game Tech Test. All right, let's do this. Next question. Number three, the first game type created for Minecraft is known as creative. Which of these is not available in the creative menu? Okay, cooked fish, firework rocket, near the brick, or near the star? I'm sure near the brick would be in there. Try and guess. I think I know already. Near the brick would totally be in there. It's a block. Near the star, I'm fairly certain that would be in there too, because, you know, creative. And cooked fish, yeah, I'm pretty certain that is too. But firework rockets, I don't think you can have firework rockets, um... Uh, because they have all sorts of NBT data, so you have to craft them. So I think it's firework rockets. There we are! The firework is not in the creative menu, you have to use craft it or commands to gain them. Yes! Cool! Nice! Not doing too bad so far in the trivia, which is good. Another game type is called survival, where items must be obtained by searching the world and crafting. Which of these items does not generate naturally in the world and instead must be crafted? An iron door. Those generate naturally because we have strongholds, flower pots. Okay, I'm not too sure. Do villagers have flower pots? I'm not too sure about that. Snow blocks. Hmm, that's a tricky one. I know that snow lays form. That's of course. That's true, of course. And pistons. Oh, these two. Okay, these last three. I know iron doors. That's a definite snow block. Oh, wait a minute, pistons do naturally generate, I, I remember jungle temples have that little trap which you can use pistons to open a secret chest up. So it's not pistons, but it's either between flower pot and snow block. Okay, I kind of have a feeling it's flower pot. I have a feeling it's flower pot. I haven't seen any flower pots naturally generate. What would be a snow block that naturally generates? I haven't seen it, I only know the snow layers that generate. Hmm, maybe you have to tell me guys, where on earth would snow blocks generate from? Okay, let's go flower pot. Oh, what? Oh, witch huts. Oh, oh, I'm so glad that you showed us that. Uh, nice. Find the button or die to return. All right, we, had, we could also find the button. Oh, thank you for the light. Um, we have to find the button or die. Oh, okay, the witch is probably going to kill me then. Um, oh, no, this is going to be a cruel death, isn't it? Where is the button? Ouch. Ouchies. Oh, we're going to die. Uh, poison yourself. Ha ha ha. Or harmed yourself. All right, just kill me. Just kill me, guy. Please, just do it for the best of both of us. Come on, just do it. End it. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Where, where are we up to? Um, okay, it's probably snow block then. Oh, what? Snow blocks are naturally generated in the ice plane spike boat? I didn't know that. Wow, really? Okay, that's cool. Huh, that's interesting. Okay. 
that's pretty cool then. Um, how are we gonna kill ourselves this time? <laughs> is there a button? Okay, okay, we... Oh, this is just cruel. Fine then. Fine. I, I really like how it gives us the answers and shows us, in, like, live in person, that the answer is, you know, this. That there is snow blocks and it has an evidence right there. That is nice. I like that. This is a slow, painful death. Alright, well maybe it's pistons then, because I guess sticky pistons are found in the jungle temples, but not regular pistons. Although sticky pistons are generated in jungle temples, regular pistons still must be crafted. Okay, okay, there we are. That was a little trickier. Alright, I suppose maybe I'm just a noob at Minecraft. Alright, number five. Minecraft consists of many biomes or regions of the world that change geographical structure and vegetation. Which of these is not a biome? Hell is different, definitely one that's a... the nether. Deep ocean is definitely one. Cold beach. Okay, cold beach or mountains. I, I have a feeling it's mountains just because, you know, mountains sound like there is. There's, it's, there's extreme hills, but no mountains. So... Yeah, I think there's a cold beach. Maybe, um, I think there those are possible. Like in a snow biome, and then it leads down to the, uh, ocean? I think so. Mountains! There is no biome called ma mountains. The mountains generated are typically part of the extreme hills biome. Nice. Didn't get fooled by that. Alright, uh, the 1.7 update introduced quite a few new flowers to Minecraft. Which, some of which, uh, some of which with a two block height. Which of these is the tallest? Okay, we've got Oxide Daisy. Mm-hmm. Peonies are two blocks tall, I know that. I think these are only one block, one block. Allium, one block. I think it's the peonies. Let's go for it. Yay! Awesome! Nice. I know my flowers. <laughs> one way to deal damage to mobs is using gravity. Which of these mobs cannot be hurt by falling? Golems? Eh, I think they can be hurt. Silverfish, witches, wolves. Okay. Oh. Okay, they, they all seem like they can be hurt by fall damage, but I think I've heard before that iron golems don't take fall damage. I don't know where I've heard that from, but I think that's true. Is that true? Yes. Iron golems, ocelots, and magma cubes will not take damage from any height. Huh, interesting. I didn't know about the uh, magma cubes and ocelots. Interesting. Okay, like most mobs, players can die if they drop from a high enough area. What is the highest a player can fall without dying and without armor or potions? I think it's 24 blocks. I know my mob traps and stuff. It's the same for mobs, so... Wait, what a minute. Wait a minute. You think so, huh? Okay, let's test that out then. You're at 24 block height. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did I... Wait, I think I read the... Okay, what's the highest play can fall without... Without dying? Read the dang question. 24 blocks is... <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Um... I'm like, what's the highest player can fall without dying and without armor or potions? 22 blocks, I suppose. Yay! The player will survive with half a heart. Anything more leads to death without enhancements. Without en enchantments, maybe? I'm not too sure. Alright. Maybe that means potions and enchantments. In a standard game, I like how the, these walls change and this blocks change too. That's cool. And Minecraft, which of these enemies will do deal the most damage to a player per hit? Enderman, Wither, Zombie, Pigman, Blaze. Hmm. Okay, I think blazers don't do much damage, even though the fire does a lot. No, I think they do very little when they hit in contact. Endermen do quite a bit, along with zombie pigmen. Now the withers, now if you touch them, I think this is to do with physical damage, like going up to them and touch them per hit. Um, like the wither, it gives you the wither effect, of course, but I don't think that counts. Like their big explosions are explosions, so they're not direct damage, so I think it's either between Enderman or Zombie Pigman. Alright, let's give the Zombie Pigman a go. Oh, wow! Believe it or not, Zombie Pigman will deal with the most. Seven and a half hearts per hit on hard difficulty. Half more than with a shot. Okay, wow, interesting. Alright, that was a pretty good guess. Ten. One way to gain extra abilities is through the use of a beacon. Which of these abilities is displayed in the upper tier of the pyramid when viewing the beacon window? All right, which of these was this upper tier of the pyramid? Is that like the final tier of a beacon? Um, I think it would be resistance. Resistance is one of the last ones, is it? I think so. Let's go for it. Oh no, incorrect resistance appears in the third tier. Now please resist the urge to monkey with the poor salesman trading post and return to the branch. Hey, look, it's the salesman here. Hi. Oh, <laughs> there's the lever here. <laughs> Caution, explosives. Bruce, diamonds for uh, DNT. <laughs> okay, have fun, Bruce. Have fun. You have fun there, Bruce. Ha 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 ha. Oh, 
Oh, uh-oh, that was a dud. Aww. What? You planned Bruce's death and made him angry. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are you- Uh-oh. You wouldn't like it when he's angry. Okay. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Now he's angry. Okay, he's got a flower. Oh, please don't kill me, Bruce. Bruce, it's the Hulk. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, that's one powerful Hulk. <laughs> All right. Slain by the Hulk. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um... So I guess it's the final tier. I guess regeneration is the final final. But then what's before that? Speed? No, it's not speed. I think it's jump boost. Strength? Strength. I think it's strength. Oh my gosh. Incorrect strength appears in the third tier down. Too bad your stomach wasn't strong. You'll never... Uh, you'll never have to puke it out in that toilet. Oh my gosh. We've got a... What's this? A bad seafood. <laughs> Great. Oh, great. How are we going to get up into here? Yeah, I'll go into the toilet. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is painful the nausea. Blah! Alright, put the bad seafood there. Okay, don't you feel better now? Oh, these are actually kind of cool consequences. Not just deaths, but all sorts of different unique uh, consequences. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we've gone for resistance. We've gone for strength. Uh, must be jump boost then. Come on. Wow, so it's speed. Okay. Oh, it appears in the second tier. I thought speed was first. Dang it. This is my map, not yours. I did all the work. No, no, I did it all. It was my idea. Okay, what's this do here? Boink. Okay. Oh, that's a big b bit of a big jump. All right, what are we supposed to do? Can I kill myself somehow? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I want to kill myself somehow. Okay, we're going to have to jump up here and, like, kill ourselves <laughs> using parkour methods. Oh, great. I like the rainbow room, though. That's that's pretty nice looking. Um, how are we going to get up? Great, we're going to have to go all the way around here. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be painful. Ah, uh, who knew there could be parkour in a trivia branch? Okay, finally, here we are. There we go. Oh, getting hungry, too. <laughs> Not cool. All right, so it's speed. Speed is the final one. The uppermost tier displays two attributes, speed and haste. Oh, wait, that's probably the first one. And by uppermost, it means the first one. <sighs> you know, most of these I'm probably going to fail because I can't even read the question. <laughs> Mining is a key factor in Minecraft, especially with obtaining resources. Of all the ores, emerald ore is the rarest. It only naturally generates in which biome? It's the mountains, the extreme hills. Yay! Awesome. Unless you're in an extreme hills biome, you won't find emerald ore without the help of creative. All commands. All right. There are a number of music discs with the game that can be played using a jukebox. What's the title of the broken music disc? Oh man, okay. Do you know? I think it's Chirp. It's not Ward. It's not 13. It's 11 or Chirp. Let's go Chirp. No, no, no. Let's go 11. Oh, ha, ha, ha. almost, almost, almost. Whoa. All Minecraft music tracks have been produced by C418, including the Haunting 11. Let's push this now. Lava's won two liquids in Minecraft, not including the block it lands on. If lava were to fall, how many, how much distance would it, will it continue to flow in the overworld? Okay, it's not six, it's either three or four. So we have the lava source, then one, two, three. It'll flow for three blocks, I think. So there we are. Yay, well, water will travel seven, and fallen lava will tra travel three. Cool. Another aspect of Minecraft is brewing. Rich ingredients, the base with thick potions. Oh man, I always make the awkward potions. Dang it, so it's definitely not near the wart. Not glowstone or redstone, I think. Oh, maybe it is. No, I think it's sugar. I think it's sugar. Oh, dang it. Incorrect, sugar's the potion for swiftness. Press the button to return to the branch. Okay, boing, boing, boing. Uh, wait, why is there a repeater thing? Okay, oh man. What the heck? What? What? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Do we have to use some fancy swiftness to get to the end here? Oh no. Oh man. Okay, I see how this works. So let's drink this up and boom. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh, faster, faster. Go. Ah, no. No, 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 please. Okay. Oh, that was close. Okay, so it's not sugar. It must be glowstone or redstone. I think it's glowstone. Let's go glowstone. Yay! Awesome. Nice. Nice work. Crafting a recipe for the arrow is flint, stick, feather. Using a single item for each. How many arrows will this produce? It's definitely not one. I think it's four. It's four, isn't it? Yay! Awesome. If you don't have a skeleton grinder and you want to actually craft for arrows, you need... F you will get four. Let's push this ice block. There are many different types of light sources. Which of these is the brightest? A brewing sand, huh? Interesting. Sunlight during thunderstorm. Oh no, active redstone ore. Oh, this is going to be painful. Okay, it's not an easy one like jack-o'-lanterns or torches. Alright, active redstone ore. Is that... Um 
brewing stand. What? Does brewing stands give off any types of light? Like, wait, wait, wait. If we go back a bit, maybe we can give... Let's give this a go. All right. Oh, we can't really tell here. Um, uh, what, what block is this? What's the block light here? Uh, 12? I'm not too sure. I don't think it's brewing stands. Do they go? Oh, I didn't know. Maybe that blaze rod inside gives off a bit of light. That's pretty neat. Alright, it's going to be the thing that we least expect. I don't know what the heck this is going to be. Sunlight during a thunderstorm is lower than... Uh, it, it allows mobs to spawn. That allows us mobs to spawn. Um, maybe it's brewing stand. It could be brewing sand. Let's go with it. Oh, dang it. Brewing sand is one of the darkest light sources. Wow, there is. So, what is this? Uh, five, huh? Now, brew a potion and throw it in the hopper. Great. Oh my gosh, we're going to brew a potion for this guy. Fine. Oh, okay. Our brewing sand just broke. Okay, um, well. Well then. Okay. Oh, well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, we didn't need a brew a potion at all. Okay, that was, uh, <laughs> unexpected. Alright, let's see here. So maybe, so it's not brewing sand. Maybe it's redstone ore. It's, I don't think it's sunlight. Maybe it's the ore, uh, maybe it's the portal. Mm, I think it's redstone ore, actually. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Okay. Should I try and get to the other side there? Okay, sure. Oh, oh okay, missed it. Missed it. Okay, oh, oh, we get teleported back here. Alright, boom, 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 boom. Nice. It's quite bright, but it's a light level of 8, it looks like. Or 9, I can't tell. I'm not sure. Alright, so it's probably near the portal then. There we are, light level of 11. Huh. Okay, I didn't know that. I, I knew near, near the portals gave a fly, but not that much. Alright. Okay, let's do that. And how many wooden items can be used as fuel? Which of these items will burn the quickest when used? Wooden fences, pickaxe, pressure plate, or slab? Hmm, okay. I never really smelt using these wooden items, so this is going to be interesting. Let's go pressure plate. Pressure plate all the way. Oh, dang it. Okay. But there's something that burns uh, quicker. Find the pressure plate to return. The oh, no. No. Oh, my gosh. Found it. Yay. Okay. Oh, that was painful. Okay. All right. Fences, pickaxes, slabs. Oh, my gosh. I'm such a Minecraft noob, aren't I? <laughs> oh, I suck at Minecraft trivia. All right, let's go. I, uh, maybe it's the, I don't think it's the slab. Actually, actually, it might be. Might be. It is. Haha, -ha, 7.5 seconds. Only sticks and saplings burn up quicker. Interesting. All right, let's push this now. Enchant golden apple is one of the most powerful items in Minecraft. Which of these statements is false? Grants fire in resistance. That's true. So, it's not. Can be eaten even if hunger bars full. That's true. Can be used for taming and breeding horses. Can kill zombie villagers. No, I don't think that's the enchanted one. The powerful one. I don't think so. Not for this. Although golden apples can kill zombie villagers, enchanted cannot. Awesome. Uh, paintings, default resource pack. Which of these is the largest? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's pretty light. Oh, white fighter versus blue fighter. I can't remember my paintings. Okay. Donkey Kong is pretty big. Flaming Skull is a bit small. Angel Prangs, that's pretty small too. It's either Donkey Kong or the White Fighter versus Blue Fighter. I think it's the Donkey Kong. Oh, dang it. 4x4, four four. alright. Fine then, alright. Kill myself in the lava, fine then. And, oh my gosh, Oh, Terrible. Okay, let's see here. Maybe it's the White Fighter versus Blue Fighter. Oh, dang. Alright, that's 4x2. Oh, wow, the correct painting is 4x4. Four four. What the heck? Wait a minute. What? Wouldn't it be the, uh, what? Okay, let's just go through all of them. Okay, this one is, uh, three by three, okay. So it must be the flaming skull. Is that the flaming skull? I, I, I didn't, I wouldn't have thought it would be. Let's see, wow, really? Really? Okay. Huh. All right, huh. I, I did not see that coming. I, I, it looks smaller to me. Maybe it's because the other ones are wider, and that tricked me. All right, anyways, a common pra practice for custom Minecraft maps is to place instructions within a book and quill. Maximum number of pages in a book and quill. No limit. Hmm, is there a limit to books? I think there is, and I don't think it's 25. I have a feeling it's 100. Um, uh, okay, let's go 100. Oh, dang it. Oh, uh, I wonder if it'll take you a hundred tries. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is just painful. Oh, my gosh. Some of these consequences are just painful. Okay. Oh, you got to be careful around here. Oh, 
Oh, we made it out of there alive. Whew, good. All right, so it's not 100. I don't think it, maybe it is 25. Uh, I have a feeling it's no limit, but it's probably gonna be wrong. Let's go 25. Oh, dang it. Oh, uh, let's see you get past these. Okay, what's these? Oh, okay. Oh, what are these? They're just paper bits. What the heck? What are they supposed to do? Okay. Oh, they're like <laughs> paper cuts. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, probably some sort of mob running around there. So it's not 25. It's not 100. It must be 50 or no limit. Okay, it's going to be no limit. Wow. So it's 50. Oh, no. Books do not go on forever unlike this. Uh, okay. That's still chasing me. Getting chased by an evil bookcase. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Boop. So it's 50. Huh. I didn't know that they had a limit. All right, most players don't even like to read one page. Can you imagine a 50 page book? And it's kind of true. All right, pistons are a huge favorite by lovers of redstone. Which of these items cannot be moved with a piston? Daylight sensor, crafting table, iron trap door, or powered activator rail? Okay, this is gonna be tough. Iron trap door, I think. Crafting table, of course. Daylight sensor, I think they can move daylight sensors. I think powered activator rails. Dang it, really? Okay, oh, uh, oh, alright. For that, I'll give you the answer. It's a daylight sensor! Oh, alright. Oh, yay, the daylight sensor just will not budge. Huh, I didn't know that. I thought that would be able to move. Alright, we'll go with it. Oh, man, my Minecraft knowledge is just not up to scratch. In the dragon's the final boss. Uh, which of these items will remain intact if the dragon flies through it? In portal frame, in the chest, lava, minecart. Minecart! It would be minecart, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? Yay! Because minecarts are entities, the dragon will not destroy them as it flies through them. One form of transportation in Minecraft is the minecart, like this. <laughs> uh, the answer to that question right there. To leave an empty spot in the center of a blah 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 intersection with placing in the middle will always connect at which directions. Okay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there's something about these rails that always they always like to you place it some some corner. Northwest. It's either northwest or southeast. I think it's northwest. Oh, dang it. Rails are always connected at a different direction. Okay, what's this? How are we supposed to? Okay. Here comes a minecart. You here? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. That's a creeper in a minecart. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was <laughs> that was a nice consequence. Um, northeast. Um, um, I want to go for the south. Maybe it's southwest. All right, oh dang it. All right, fine then, just blow myself up. <laughs> okay, all right, let's just go for all of them. Southeast, I'm not too sure. Oh, there we are. If you place the minecart tracks in an intersection, placing the final one will always connect it southeast. Cool. Intermen have an annoying habit of stealing blocks. Which one can they not carry? I think they can carry cactus and clay, TNT, snow. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. I think they can carry TNT. Yeah, I think so. Cactus, uh, I think so. Clay, I think it's not clay. Or snow. Snow, snow, snow. Can they pick up, pick up snow? Actually, I don't think so. Yeah, it isn't. Uh, it is, I mean. It is snow that they cannot pick up. Unless, I guess, you downgrade your version. Alright. Nice. Uh, wood block here. Minecraft does some strange things with the block heights on the Y axes. Which of these would be the shortest of standing on the top center? Okay. That would be the same. Um, slab on cobblestone wall or four? Okay, it's either between these two. I think a slab on cobblestone wall is the highest. So which of these would be the shortest of standing on the top center? Okay, the shortest? Oh, oh, I'm not too sure. Cobblestone wall and cobblestone... Wait, maybe it would be the carpet because... Yeah, it's the cobblestone wall on, and carpet, isn't it? Carpet on cobblestone wall. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Dang it! Oh, but, oh man. Oh, okay, so they do retain the height as the wall. Okay, it's slime bounce all over again. Yay! Boing! And let's just, just, oh, no, no jump. I, I ruined it. I'm sorry, guys, just ruined it right there. Okay, so it's not that. Maybe it's the snow, because the snow counteracts everything. Yeah, it is. Because snow sheets have a negative 0.125 block height, the y axis staying on top, top is technically shorter than, than, than the others. Or the others are the same. Interesting. Interesting stuff right there. Alright, what's the achievement title at the beginning? Craft your first item, kill the wither, or locate the end. Kill the wither, it's kill the wither. Nice. If you finish the boss battle and do adversity one, you would have gained this achievement by killing the monster. Nice. How many questions are there? 27 already? Wow. Alright, besides Steve or Alex, I don't know you could, he was called Alex. There have been a few named characters in Minecraft throughout time. Which of these has never been part of it? I know Rana has been. 
I know there was that weird frog looking guy. Beast Boy, that sounds right. Black Steve, I think it's Eddie. Eddie. Yeah, it is Eddie. Beast Boy, Black Steve, and Rhino are all NPCs in its end dev phase. Eddie is Cubator's pet end dragon, but not technically part of Minecraft as far as the coding is concerned. Alright. Well, oh, the creation of these was heavily influ influenced by which of these games? Ace of Spades. That was created after. It's definitely Infinite Miner. Terraria came after as well. It's Infinite Miner, isn't it? Yo-ho! Nice. Stone block. Almost there. 29. Maybe there are 30. Mo Zhang. Mo Yang. Not too sure. The company that develops Minecraft was founded by three individuals. Who is not one? Alright. I think it was... Definitely Notch. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it's this Jonas guy. I haven't heard of him. I think those the other three sound pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, there we are. Is the vice president of the company, but was not a founding member. Nice. Number 30. What was the original name of Mo Yang? Oh, Mo Yang AB or Mo Yang... I think it's either between Mo Yang AB or Mo Yang Specifications. Alright, um... Specifications? Oh wow, nice! Swedish for Gadget is an independent video game company, blah blah blah. Cool, and that is our green wool right there, lime wool I mean. Nice, and let's put that in. The trivia section has now been complete. Nice! We have gotten a three down. Oh yeah! Alright, we're getting closer and closer to completion. What's next on the list? What's after the crazy difficult trivia? Parkour. Oh great. Oh great, this is gonna be painful, even more painful! Slender, music starts, don't look or it takes you, leave me alone, no eyes sees or can't run, can't escape. That sounds really scary. That sounds scary, I, I have this feeling that it's, the music's gonna start up and then something creepy is gonna- Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, but I was- I, I thought something actually creepy was about to happen.